hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering unboxing. So today we're going to be taking a look at the War of the Spark bundle. I don't think much has changed uh, in terms of contents from the previous, uh, previous bundle. So we've got our player's guide, our 10-15 card booster packs, this becomes a card box. Uh, we've got two reference cards and a spin down knife counter and an 80 card basic land pack. So we'll open this up, take a look at the cards, have a look at the uh, encyclopedia. That'll give us some idea of the basic concepts, keywords, abilities um, and theme of the set. And obviously we'll go through and look at the, the boosters and see what we pull here. Um, I've had a quick look at the set, but um, not too much because I always like this to be the first time I've actually really looked at the set. I believe the, the most expensive card in the set is Liliana Dreadhorde General. So again we've got this spacer that turns into a rather convenient storage box. I've got a number of those. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just see if I can open this. There's all, I think I've mentioned on previous videos, there's actually artwork on the inside here. It's all held together by that, uh, that weird glue that they often use to stick CDs to the cover of music magazines. Yeah, I think you know the one. Good. This is going to look on camera, but you should get an idea. Mm. Oh yeah, not too bad. A long, long form poster style. There we go. There's our spin down. Our land pack and a couple of a couple of these. So we've got uh, a breakdown of how a turn works in Magic and very very simplified deck building guide. And then on the other side we've got popular Magic formats and then just a website promo there. There's our 10 boosters and uh, as with the previous ones this has like a movable spacer here which I always find quite handy because I don't actually believe it or not I don't buy a ton of cards for a set normally I make do with a, um, a bundle and, uh, and a few extra boosters here and there uh, and that's my lot with that and so it's quite handy having that movable spacer if I'm using it to storage store cards because they don't fill the whole box so let's have a look at the uh, encyclopedia so we've got a little bit of the backstory of uh, War of the Spark And we have again this top 10 coolest cards, which has been in a fe feature in these uh, players' guides for a long time. So Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, Sarkin the Masterless, Niv Mizzet Reborn, Obnixilus the Hate Twisted, Neoform. And on the other side we've got Ugin the Ineffable, God Eternal, Aketra, Jace Wilder of Mysteries, 
finale of devastation and widespread brutality. The set is Planeswalker Heavy. Uh, it has a number of Planeswalkers at actually at Uncommon, which I believe is the first time they've done that. A little bit more about the uh, Planeswalker backstory here. About the Gatewatch. And uh, because there's still a, a reference to Ravnica in here, and I know we've sort of abandoned the three set blocks, but this, uh, this block is um, still tied in with the Plane of Ravnica. We're obviously going to have a reference to Guild Leaders, and I imagine we should see a number of uh, legends here as well as the Planeswalkers. Legendary cards. So here's our encyclopedia. We've got, uh, looks like some colourless cards first of all, and then we go through all the white cards, the blue cards. interested in multicolored got a few of those looks like we've got hybrid manner in the set as well you notice with the planeswalkers at uncommons looking at these it would appear that um, their various abilities there's yeah, pretty simple. It looks like there's um, there's basically one which has an effect on the on the loyalty. There it looks like with a lot of these here, there's no actual way within the card of increasing the loyalty. So you'd have to have some other means of putting counters on there with these uh, planeswalkers that are uncommon. It'll be interesting to see whether they've done that. If we, if we pull them out, how that actually works out on the cards and we actually look at some, when we go through the boosters. Got some non-basic lands in the set. Excellent. And we actually have... We don't have lazy artwork for this, so we've actually got three different types of artwork here. Different colours of mana. And these ones, um, they always appear at the end. So... These are the ones that only appear in Planeswalker decks if you buy them. And then the last three are the buy a box promo and they don't appear in Booster Backs either. So, there we go. So what we'll do is we'll have a close up look at the land. we sort of start to see repeats. It looks like fortunately this has actually been organized in, uh, in oh. <laughs> we started organizing this by color. So so far now we've seen actually all three pieces of artwork for the planes. If I'd have known they were going to do that I might have spread this out on the camera a bit better. So we'll go through and look at the the islands now. And do the same for our swampy friends. That's pretty cool artwork. I imagine that would look awesome in foil. Mountains. 
And finally forests. Hopefully you can see that fairly well on the camera. It's pretty dark and some of this artwork actually. I'm assuming they're all, yeah, they are all like that. It's just not a bad card, so. Okay, so there's our, our land pack. Let's get on to the main attraction, the boosters. So let's see what we can pull, see how our luck stands with this. So with 10 packs, um, if we're super lucky, we might get two mythics. Um, certainly should see one statistically speaking and uh, obviously we all should somewhere in here see a foil so first up we've got uh, stealth mission we have goblin assault team so just looking at these two cards there's a, a counter theme going on here Bouncing Lynx, Return to Nature, and a modal card here with a number of choices. Kaya's Ghost Form, Gateway Plaza, so this is a non-basic land at common, so Gateway Plaza enters the battlefield tapped. When Gateway Plaza into Spellfield, sacrifice it unless you pay one, tap, add one mana to any of any colour. We've seen um, cards like this before, sort of uh, non-basic land commons where, you know, they come into play. There's some sort of extra cost for doing that, but they tap for a mana of any colour. Arlene's Wolf. Wall of Runes, Divine Arrow, Storm the Citadel, Dread Horde Twins, Zombie Jackal Warrior. There's a combination. So this has a mass 2 on it, so let's take a look at a mass here. When Dread Horde Twins enter the battlefield, a mass 2, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a 0, zero black zombie army creature token first. Zombie tokens you control have trample. Laser tip plating. That also has that has a mass one on it. Okay, so we, ha we have our first Planeswalker here. Uh, this is one at... Uh, it's, rare, it's regular rare. Well, it's rare, but it's not mythic rare. So this is Tafari Time Raveler. I think this is around $12 to $13. So it's one white blue for a full loyalty legendary Planeswalker Teferi. Each opponent can cast spells only any time they could cast a sorcery. So it's plus one is, until your next turn, you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. And the minus three, return up to one target artifact, creature or enchantment to its owner's hand. Draw a card. Oh, and there's our foil. Or our first foil. Loxidin Sergeant, three and a white Creature Elephant Soldier, it's a 3-3 with Vigilance. When Loxton and Sergeant enter the battlefield, other creatures you control gain Vigilance until end of turn. And we have a basic land in here in the packs and a Goblin Token. So we probably are going to see a lot of Planeswalkers here. So that's not going to be unusual. I think it's probably the same. Um, as before when they've done a, a theme set. If you remember, there was a previous set where they fixed it so that there was a legendary in every pack. 
Um, so with this set, there's going to be a Planeswalker in every pack. Honor the God Pharaoh. Rising Populace. So you'll see a number of cards here, like Honor the God Pharaoh, have that Amass ability on them. Stealth Mission. Goblin Assault Team. Snare Spinner. Toll of the Invasion. Another Amass ability on there. Arlen's Wolf. Nahiri's Stone Blades. Callous Dismissal. Arboreal Grazer. Dread Malkin, so we're moving on to our uncommons. This has Menace on it as well, along with the reminder text for Menace. This creature can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. We have Dovin's Veto. And we have an uncommon legendary uh, planeswalker here. So, this is Kaya, Bane of the Dead. So the casting cost is three, and then three white-black hybrid mana. Legendary plays Walker Kaya. It's seven loyalty. Your opponents and permanents you control with hexproof can't be the targets of spells and abilities you control as though they didn't have hexproof. Minus three is exile target creature, and that's the only ability on there. It's um, controlled to the or linked to the loyalty. Our rare is roll reversal. So roll reversal, two blue and a red, sorcery, exchange control of two target permanents that share a permanent type. We have an island and a zombie army token. So there you go, that's for use with your mass. Okay, we have Wall Screecher, Ashiox Skulker, Invading Manticore, another card with a mass on it. Just make sure that's lining up good. Bulwark Giant, Steady Aim, Aid the Fallen. That one there with the mode, you get to choose one or both. Herald of the Dread Horde. Get another Gateway Plaza. Tamio's Epiphany. Three in a blue, you get to scry, scry for and then draw two cards. Trusted Pegasus. Merfolk Skydiver, which has Proliferate on it. So for three green blue, you can choose any number of permanents and all players, then give each another counter of each kind already there. That's a way of um, putting uh, additional loyalty counters on those planeswalkers which can't add them themselves. Elite. Guard Mage and another legendary Planeswalker at Uncommon. So Kazmina, Igmatic Mentor, three and a blue. So five loyalty legendary Planeswalker Kazmina. Spells your opponent's cast that target a creature or Planeswalker you control costs two more to cast. And it's minus two is create a 2-2 two -two blue wizard creature token, draw a card, then discard a card. These are very enchantment-like um, cards. Soul Diviner, 
is our rare. So Creature Zombie Wizard, it's a 2-3 for blue-black. Uh, tap, remove a counter from an artifact, creature, land or planeswalker you control. Draw a card. And we got a planes and another zombie token for our zombie army that we're going to be building with a mass. Okay, we have Teo's Light Shield. Spellkeeper Weird, Turret Ogre, Pouncing Lynx, Steady Aim, Charity Extractor, Band Together, Prismite, so it's a two, two to cast, two one, artifact creature golem, and for two you can add one mana of any colour. Herald of the Dread Horde, Thundering Ceratok, Death Sprout. We've got Rescuer Sphinx. The card that cares about counters. And our Planeswalker is uncommon. Samut Tyrant Smasher. Two and then two red green hybrid. Legendary creature. Plane, uh, legendary, legendary Planeswalker Samut with a loyalty of five. Creatures you control have haste. It's minus one, target creature gets plus two plus two and gains haste until end of turn, scry one. And our rare is commence the end game. Okay. So four, two blue instant. This spell can't be countered. Draw two cards and amass X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. Put X plus one plus one counters on an army you control. If you don't control one, create a zero zero black zombie army creature token first. Okay. Forest and an emblem for Nyssa. So land you control have indestructible. I wonder if that's a, a foreshadowing of cards to come. Skulker, Honor the God Pharaoh, Rising Populace, Primordial Worm, Lazotep Behemoth, Zombie Hippo, Heartfire, Mana Geode, so when Mana Geode enters the battlefield, scry one, tap add one mana of any colour, and it's three to cast. Pollen Bright Druid, which also has Proliferate on it. Um, the Verils Shadow Fuge, I think that is. Devil's Shadow Fuge, anyway. Thunder Drake. Bleeding Edge. Price of Betrayal. Move up to five counters from target artifact, creature, planeswalker, or opponent. Okay. And our planeswalker is uncommon. We've got Narset Partner, Partner of Veils. One and two blue. Legendary planeswalker Narset. It's five loyalty. 
Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn and it's got a minus two on here. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put them put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay. Then uh, rare is spark double. So three and a blue, creature illusion, it's zero, zero. You may have spark double enter the battlefield as a copy of a creature or planeswalker you control, except it enters with an additional plus one, plus one counter on it. If it's a creature, it enters with an additional loyalty counter on it. If it's a planeswalker and it isn't legendary, if that permanent is legendary. Okay, that's how they deal with that. Now we've got a mountain and a spirit token. We have Turretoga, Ironclad Crovod, a few of these we haven't seen yet, Ashiok Skulker, Vivian's Grizzly, which is a bear spirit, uh, Dusk, Dusk Mantle Operative, Bloom Hulk, another card with Proliferate, Charmed Stray, Avon Eternal, Zombie Bird Warrior, Burning Prophet, Obnixilis' Cruelty, Rally of Wings, Tenth District Legionnaire, uh, Planeswalker is uncommon, it's Dovin Hand of Control. Two white blue hybrid, five loyalty legendary planeswalker Dovin. Artifacts, instants, and sorcery spells you your opponents cast cost cast cost one more to cast. It's minus one is until your next turn. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to and dealt by target permanent and opponent controls. Our rare is Solar Blaze, two red white sorcery. Each creature deals deals damage to itself equal to its power and we have a swamp and a servo token okay we've got four packs left <coughs> We should start to really start seeing repeats at commons now, quite a few. Ironclad Crovod, Spellkeeper Weird, Arncrop Invader, Forced Landing, Vampire Opportunist, Defiant Strike, Erratic Visionary, got a Gill Globe, Another mana rock. Chandra's Pyrahelix. Unlikely Aid. Sunblade Angel, which has Flying First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink. Ugin's Conjurant. Uh, Planeswalker is at uncommon in this pack, so it's Arlen, Voice of the Pack, 4, 2 green, Legendary Planeswalker Arlen. It's 7 loyalty, and each creature you control that's a wolf or a werewolf enters the battlefield with an additional plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. It's minus 2, create a 2-2 two -two green wolf creature token. And we have a legendary creature. At rare, so we've got Tolsmere, friend of wolves, friend to wolves, two, two green and a white, legendary creature elf scout. When Tolsmere, friend to wolves, enters the battlefield, create Voja, friend to elves, a legendary 3 3 green and white wolf creature token. Whenever a wolf enters the battlefield under your control, you gain three life 
and that creature fights up to one target creature you you don't control and that's a 3-3 three, three. we have an island and another addition to our zombie army Please pleased we're getting tolls in here Loxidon Sergeant, as our first common Cura's Dam Breaker, Chain Whip Cyclops, Vampire Opportunity Opportunist, Even Eternal, Sarkin's Catharsis, Bloom Husk. Sahili's Silverwing, Obnisilic, Obnisilic, Crikey, Obnisilic's Cruelty, Ajani's Pride Mate, so that I believe is a reprint. It's new artwork, could be wrong. Ugin's Conjurant and we have a legendary planeswalker at Uncommon Kiora Beamoth's Beckoner 2 green blue legendary creature Kiora 7 loyalty whenever a creature with power 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control draw a card minus 1 untap target permanent and our Rare is Deliver Unto Evil. That's pretty interesting artwork. It's funny, it almost looks sort of out of odds with the rest of the stuff. Uh, it's two and a black sorcery. Choose up to four target cards in your graveyard. If you control a bolus planeswalker, return those cards to your hand. Otherwise, an opponent chooses two of them. Leave the chosen cards in your graveyard and put the rest into your hand. Exile, deliver unto evil. And we have a fall in here, which is bond of discipline. Four and a white sorcery. Tap all creatures your opponents control. Creatures you control gain lifelink until end of turn. We have planes and another zombie army token. I think we can guess one of the themes of this particular set. Okay, no escape. Turret Ogre. Oops, Ironclad Crovod. Steady Aim. Charity Extractor, Bane Hound, that would look, I imagine that could potentially look pretty cool in foil. Giant Growth, excellent. Topple the Stature. Callous Dismissal. D Spark Bolt Bend Well, so we've got another. I'm just looking at the the way they've sort of bled the uh, that sort of Sort of dark magic shadow baby if you watch Game of Thrones that sort of uh, weird black creepy smoke has bled into the um, into the name of the card obviously deliberately I'm hoping um, that's a pretty it makes it almost unreadable um, Davril a rogue 
Shadow Mage and that's two in a black uh, Legendary Planeswalker Davril at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep if that player has one or fewer cards in hand Davril's Rogue Shadow Mage deals two damage to them it's a three loyalty and the minus one is target player discards a card uh -huh. We have our first and possibly only mythic, which is Rollesque Apex Hybrid. That's two, two green and a blue. It's not our first uh, legendary we've had or legendary creature in the uh, in this um, pack openings, but um, certainly it's the first one at mythic. So, what's this? Legendary creature, creature Human Mutant. It's a 4-5 with Flying and Trample. When Rollesque Apex Hybrid enters the battlefield, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on another target creature you control. When Rollesque dies, proliferate, then proliferate again. Choose any number of permanent and or players, then give each another counter of the kind already there. Then do it again. Okay. cool and we have cruel stinger as a foil two and a green with death touch and it's a two two a forest and a zombie token okay let's see what's in our final pack So we have Crush Descent, Chain Whip Cyclops, Teo's Light Shield, No Escape, Cruel Stinger, Vampire Opportunist, Bane Hound, Band Together. Gateway Plaza, Trusted Pegasus, we have a Mayhem Devil, a Cyclops, Cyclops Electromancer, a Gleaming Overseer, so if that's all our commons, what's in our rare slot then? Should be Planeswalker and it is Raal Storm Conduit which is a rare it's two blue red for four loyalty legendary Planeswalker rule whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell Raal Storm Conduit deals one damage to target opponent or Planeswalker it's plus two is scry one and it's minus two is when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn copy that spell you may choose new targets for the copy we have a mountain and another zombie army token who would have thought so there we go i hope you've enjoyed that it's been a pretty interesting pack opening with the with the sheer number of um planeswalkers in the set uh we got our obligatory uh, mythic there and uh, it was a legendary creature and it's interesting as well to see you know because we're with this set is based in uh, Ravnica um, it's good to see sort of familiar characters from from Ravnica um, on the cards and uh, it's always interesting to see how they sort of link in the card artwork to characters in the storyline as well it's always uh, cool to see that anyway i hope you've enjoyed that uh, unboxing of the uh, of the bundle thanks for watching bye for now